Kotongane, the Native God here. We are back uh, for the second part of this solution, right? Now, remember now we're looking at what happens in second gear or, or, or once the second gear is engaged, right? So, like I explained when we were looking at um, in the first part of the solution, right? That in second gear, you look at you look at the second gear on the on the on the output shaft right and that gear is gonna mesh with what with the second gear on the lay shaft right so meaning for second gear you have the gears that are in constant mesh so a and b and then gear c and d slide into mesh as soon as um, the second gear is engaged right hence we have in second gear this is the diagram we have right so this is what we expect when the second gear is engaged right so a and b are in constant mesh and then c and d come into mesh as soon as the second gear is, is engaged right now let's see what they've told us they said the second gear second gear is approximately 2,27 is to 1 right now what does that mean Right, so we're looking at the entire gear system of the gears engaged in the second gear right for gear ratio remember we have n in over n out that's in terms of the rotation frequency in terms of number of teeth we have t out over t in right so when looking at um the gears engaged in second gear right we have a b or we have a meshing with b and we have c meshing with d right so the orange represents gears um or input gears and then the green gears indicate or represents the output gears right so the gear ratio will be in terms of number of teeth right remember the input is a so n a over the output in this case is gear d so gear d is equal to right so in terms of number of teeth the numerator will be gears that represent the what the output so tb times td over the gears that represent the input so ta times tc are equal to what they told us in second gear the gear ratio is approximately 2,27 is to 1 so this is 2,27 is to 1 which is the same as over 1 right now we've already calculated the number of teeth of A and B right so just using or just representing the gear ratio in terms of number of teeth we have TB times TD over TA times TC is equal to 2,27, right? Now we have the values of TB and TA, right? Remember, TA they gave to us it's 18 teeth. TB we calculated and got 34 teeth, right? So TB has 34 teeth over ta which, which has 18 teeth times tc is equal to 2 comma 27 right now we're trying to solve for td and tc right so let's multiply by 18 over 34 both sides right so this cancels with that that cancels with this therefore td over tc is now equal to so if you punch this in your calculators, you're going to get 1,202, right? Then we solve for TD, right? By cross multiplying, therefore TD is equal to 1,202 two, two, TC. So let's take this as our equation one, right? Our second equation, right? Remember, we're looking at a riveted 
gearbox so the sensor distance is equal right, across the board across the board so see when looking at remember when we dealt with the first gear right we calculated the sensor distance using the input and lay shaft right and then we got the sensor distance so now to get um, um, C and D we're going to use the relationship of the sensor distance but now between C and D right between C and D the module into so TC plus TD over 2 right since the distance we have we calculated and got 130 millimeters right the module is still 5 5 for all gears into TC plus TD over 2 right 5 over 2 is 2,5 so 130 is equal to 2,5 into TC plus TD right then divide both sides by 2,5 so TC plus TD is equal to what 130 over 2,5 is equal to what 52 right so we take this as our equation 2 right so this is our equation 1 that's our equation 2 we have two unknowns and have two equations so we can get the two unknowns right so let's sub sub equation one into two right so equation one is in terms of tc so this is tc plus and td is equal to one comma two two so one comma two o two tc is equal to 52 right so this becomes two comma two o two tc is equal to 52 looking for TC so we divide both sides by 2 comma 2 2 right so that cancels therefore TC and if you punch 52 over 2 comma 2 2 in your calculators you're going to get 23 23,615 and then if we run this off, TC is going to be equal to 24 teeth, right? Now to get to get um, TD, we're just going to substitute TC in our second equation, right? Second equation, we know TC plus TD is equal to 52. So to get TD, this will be equal to 52 minus TC. So TD is equal to 52 minus TC, which is 2014. So TD is equal to what? 28 teeth, right? And that's how we get the number of teeth of C and D, right? So don't make the mistake of saying um, the gear ratio for A and B is equal to the gear ratio of C and D remember they never told us that we were able to use that relationship in the first gear because they told us that the gear ratio for a and b is equal to that of e and f right so they didn't they, they didn't mention anything about um gears the gear ratio for a and b being equal to the gear ratio of c and d hence we cannot assume that right so don't make the mistake of thinking um, a B is automatically equal to C and D because they mentioned that the gear ratios of A and B is equal to that of E and F, right? Right. So now we have all the number of teeth, right, in our gear system. So now, remember they said calculate the number of teeth for all gears in the sensor distance. So we have the number of teeth for all the gears as well as the sensor distance. What we haven't calculated yet is the exact gear ratios right so as far as exact gear ratios we know in third gear right the input so the input shaft measures what with the output shaft so the gear ratio there will obviously be one is to one right 
as far as the, the exact gear ratio for first and second gear that we need to calculate using the number of teeth which we've calculated right so for first gear the gear ratio right the gear ratio is gonna be equal to what remember in terms of number of teeth in the in the first gear right let's just do a quick recap for first gear right right here's first gear remember in terms of number of teeth the gear ratio for for first gear is equal to that right right so the gear ratio in first gear is equal to this right now we have all the number of teeth so we can get the actual gear ratio in first gear right so the gear ratio is going to be equal to what number of teeth of gear b remember this was 34 right and then remember T, tb and tf are equal so this was 34 as well and then this was 18 and then e was 18 as well right and if you punch this in your calculators you're going to get 3 comma 5 6 8 is to 1 so that's the gear ratio for the first gear right for second gear second gear right in terms of number of teeth the gear ratio remember is equal to is equal to this here right so to get the gear ratio when we've engaged the second gear right it is equal to this right and now we have all the number of teeth right so to get the gear ratio tb is equal to 34 td td is equal to 28 all right ta is equal to 18 tc if i remember correctly is equal to 24 yes so this is 24 so our gear ratio in second gear if you punch this in your calculators you're gonna get 2 comma 2 or 4 then it's 2 1 so those are our actual gear ratios right if you have any questions um, you can comment in the comment section right I'll try to answer you guys as best I can right see you guys on the next one